So usually in the morning after pre-start or at pre-start, I get put with a fitter, um, a qualified fitter, and we get given a job. I only work at the workshop. I don't go out on site as of yet. The fitter I'm working with usually just takes time out to explain to me what we're doing, why we're doing it, and yeah, I just help him put things on or just fix whatever's wrong with the machine. A normal day now, our working days are 7.30 to 4 usually, so I'll um, head into our workshop and I'll see all the guys, give them some advice or some jobs for the day and I'll probably catch up on some phone calls and then I'll head out and see how they're going and check in on them if they need anything from me. Um, otherwise, sometimes I jump on the tools with them, which could be just yeah doing some maintenance work through universities, like if lights and stuff aren't working. And it just depends on the day. We're kind of exposed to a really broad range of work. I kind of love the dirty side of it. <laughs> It's good to um, find a problem and di like diagnose what's wrong with the machine and then when you get to fix it, it's a bit of a kick. You, you found that mistake and you've fixed it, it makes you feel good. You, you learn something new every single day in this trade. There's so many different ways to do something and it's always interesting, it's never repetitive. I love it. My favourite thing is seeing client satisfaction at the end. I love helping people bring their ideas to life, whether it's in their home, whether it's on a project or anything like that, and seeing the final product and being proud enough to be like, oh, I did that, you know, that was me, and be able to tell people that I've done something like that, yeah. Probably a highlight of my day is when we're really busy, because we've always got something to do, um, and you learn a lot more that way. I find I learn a lot better hands-on than I do off a bit of paper. The environment's great because, you know, you've got a little bit of music in the background. You've, everyone that's in the shed is there for the same reason and we're all in the same career. You can ask anyone for help. Everyone's there to work and everyone's there doing what they love and it's what you love too. So it's just a great vibe, really. The amount of stuff you learn, like every day is a learning experience. Like you don't, you get told to go and do something and you're not sure, but then you get taught and you have the confidence to do it yourself again. And, you can prove yourself. I really like being able to do that. Like the guy's challenging me to go, oh, you need to go get this cable, this tool, this tool, and going, all right, that's hard, but I'll do it and I'll give it a go. And it was that constant, like, it just happened to keep trying, keep learning. And you, you learn like every day through your apprenticeship. I'm still learning now, but you know, there's just so much to take in. I think it was all just learning and being confident in yourself in the end. In, in my trade, it's kind of like, you can't really give up because you are the ones that have to fix it. There's no one else to go to to fix it you know, you are the one that fixes it. And yeah, I guess it, it is kind of true. There's such a broad range of stuff that you don't know going into a trade, but I feel like that's probably the most exciting part. You're forever learning new things and it's not boring. <laughs> I think it's about exploring the opportunities out there. We've got great resources now to see what the trade's like in social media or like anything like that. You can really see how people do what they do during a day. You can take on work experience opportunities like that and really test out the trade before you 100% commit to what you're gonna do um, and you actually get a bit of an idea of what you're getting yourself into, yeah.